checking out the JTS shotgun, the big duck and AR. Uh, so, like I did in my Silver Eagle videos, I'm just going to shoot it, uh, talk about it, uh, pros, cons, why I got it. And at the very end of the video, I'll take it apart, show you how similar it is to an AR and how to clean it and everything such like that. So, back up here, redneck range, got some <laughs> the TVs and bottles and some records. I found this one, uh, the soul of Poland. I wonder if that has any relevance to today. <laughs> see what else uh so yeah i'll talk about it i got one two three so these are 10 round mags the big ones so i got 30 rounds and then two five rounds i just grabbed them it was still in my book bag from the silver eagle video so the 40 rounds of birdshot so we're gonna see how this gun runs on birdshot birdshot only and i'll show you it's a piston driven gun so it has an adjustable gas block, and on this one, it, it does take choke tubes. It takes Remington 870, 1100 choke tubes. So this is the Bore Blaster 69,000. It's called Bore Blaster. It's it's made for hunting TVs and microwaves. That's what it says on the website. If you're hunting TVs and microwaves, Bore Blaster. All right, let me get set up, and we'll get going. All right, so I got five rounds in here, and I'm just going to see if it works. It has a forward assist that actually does work too. Comes with these kind of primitive iron sights. Put the glass bottle down there. Hmm. Ow. <laughs> so this gas block, yeah. I have it turned on one. There's yeah. Actually I had it on single shot, I think. So this gas block, the bird shot goes one to three. Three's like wide open. There we go. It was stuck between zero and one. I was like, I didn't feel it. chamber. All right, let's try it again. I'll give it a gas block with you in a second here. Go there. Go. There we go. That's better. So yeah, that one worked good. So let's talk about the gas block. So uh, I can, not behind the camera. I can't tell. It goes zero, one, two, three. Zero is single shot. And then one's for like buckshot heavy three inch shells. Two, like probably two and three quarter buckshot. And three's wide open for like bird shot. So let's load up a 10 rounder and try to, you gotta make sure you load these mags good too. With low brass, it's kind of finicky. Let's try to go a little faster. <laughs> That's what's great with these guns, man. There's just so much fun. It's just so much fun to come out 12 gauge and blow some crap away. All right, let's try the TV down there. I'm making sure guys are still recording here. Gotta get, uh, <laughs> I'm in the garage like painting, so I'm waiting for paint to dry. So I was like, I'll come up, do a video real quick, and then I gotta get Weston off the school bus. He's getting off early, so it's one of those days. Yeah, man, she's working good. Front and iron sight kind of a little bit loose there. Uh, so, price point. These run six, $700. I was going to get the Silver Eagle, uh, uh, what is it, the Pro, whatever it is. Uh, it was when the pandemic first started happening. Everybody was panic buying guns and stuff. And they didn't have it, but they had this there. And I got, I think, $150 off it. So, I, I paid like $450 for it. So I got a good deal on it, uh, and when I picked it up, looked at it, I was like, dude, I like this gun, man. I like the color, and it just felt cool. It's like a big fucking AR, man. <laughs> it really is. It's so fun, and you just can't go wrong with a shotgun, you know. So that's why I got it, and I had never shot it that much, but it always worked good. Uh, I just cleaned it really good. I'll go over that here in one second. Shoot some more shit. Okay, there's a jam, maybe. Yeah, just didn't chamber the whole way. <clears throat> there you go, there's one. Dude, that one actually broke. Whoo! So that's not the gun. 
That's not the gun's fault there. The shell. Look at that. Blew this fucking shell apart. Huh. Okay. I wonder if there was one stuck in there or something. The barrel didn't explode. But yeah. All right. I got to figure this out. I think I actually had like a squid round. Because look at this. Because this mag that was my last one. I just had, I had some uh, Remington and Winchester. I had them mixed up. I'm pretty sure the last one was a green one and but look what happened like i think part of the shell might have got stuck in there but it ripped the <laughs> ripped that right off the back there so i don't know if something was stuck in the barrel but uh well there you go she's a pretty strong gun barrel didn't explode speaking of which it is uh it shoots two and three quarter and three inch shells if you probably can't see it because of the glare yeah yeah just trust me it does there it is but yeah so it must have been a squid round or something <laughs> there, there you go tough gun uh got a few left and hopefully that don't happen again so i got the barrel cleared and we'll continue shooting Alrighty, got my stuff set back up so i always buy stuff i get something on, like cheap i got this old timer knife for two dollars off the crease down the road there's like a number on it i don't know if that's Serial number, like, built in, made in 1981. It's two bucks for this bad boy, man. Mm, which mag was we on? So, I think this one. And, yeah, so, that, like I said, it must have been, a, like, a squid round or something. That's just wild, man. i never seen that happen with a shotgun shell. So, I got a man bear pig target. No, I had a man bear pig target up there. There you go, working good. Just set my man bear pig target back up real quick. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll put the pole end up there. Yeah, I got 10 more rounds in here. I think last 10, so. Yep, there you go. Didn't chamber there. Or did it? I'm just gonna make sure the, the barrel is clear here after the last one. Yeah, all right. Okay, we're clear. There you go. Okay, so we had two official jams. That one, like I said, squid load or something. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. So we had two out of 40 jam. But you know, yeah. Like I said, with bird shot, you got to expect that. Like, it's not going to always cycle. So, yeah, I did pretty good. Uh, like I said, always get out there. Try your mags. Try your ammo. Obviously, if you're going to use this for defense or tactical insertion or something, get some high brass you know so it'll it'll work a lot better but that's not bad for just shooting bird shot having fun in microwaves uh so that's it and yeah get out there and do some shooting brother i was gonna show you guys how if you want to take it apart and clean it Let's see so it's just like a regular AR. has a takedown pin in the back make sure it's empty okay uh and then the takedown pin in the front it's the same a little different you gotta almost keep your Receiver kind of just just cracked open, and it slides right out. And then, basically, it really is just like a AR-15 trigger group, which if, if you know had something, I'm not gonna say, but you know, got something sitting there and push that. I don't know what would happen. And then, let's see. But in all seriousness, it really is like a. The bolt's different, obviously, but it comes apart the same. And it gets, like, the extractor in here, it gets, like, the extractor gets kind of pinched in there. But that's the bolt carrier group. So, which, it, the top part of it, it's, like, does that, like, it's separated from the, the locking lugs. I'm not sure quite how that works. And charging handle. Let's see. Basically the same. Oh. 
yeah, down and out. Basically the same. That's it. Get it back in, it's a little, a little finicky. You gotta play with it, line up the extractor, and then the bottom, bottom piece there. I think till up. There's only one way you can go in. I know it's, I was messing with it earlier. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so you gotta kind of like tilt it up, and then you gotta kind of twist it around under the. Trying to do it out, losing it here. There it goes. It's kind of twisted around under there, under the charging handle. That's it. This is what's epic about where I live, dude. Like, if you get lost in the woods, eventually you're gonna run into like another party spot. Dude, <laughs> that's all most people do, just like just party up here. It's amazing. Like, there's just so many of these spots. I live oh, 300 yards, 400 yards, maybe that way. And then I was just shooting 300 yards up there, and right over there is our 500 yard range. Like, they're right over there. And it's funny, like, everywhere the pond is, it's super thick woods. I was driving out this season for hunting, and uh, right in the middle, like, the thickest spot, I found another freaking party spot. I was like, this is the best place to party. I mean, this is my kind of party right here, man. Like, I don't like going to bars or anything. It's like, if I'm gonna have a party, like, this is it. Hanging out in the fucking middle of pine trees in the woods with nobody around. Drink some beer. And, uh, I'm just trying to see what kind of beer they were drinking. But, yeah. I love the people I live around. <laughs> the best people, man. Definitely Trump supporters. <laughs>